Hello everyone, it's Melly. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. If you're, please don't forget to subscribe down below. If you like my content, I will be very happy to welcome you into our community. And for those of you who return to my channel, thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. Today I wanted to do a full face with you guys because it's been a while and uh, I'm trying not to talk too loud because my baby girl is sleeping right next to me and she needs her sleep. Finger crossed that she won't wake up. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I wanted to do a full face. I have some new makeup and a palette that I want to try with you today. If you're interested, then keep on watching. So I hope that you're all doing okay. I'm first using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Primer because it's been a while. I mean, on the channel anyway. Uh, for me today, it was the going back to school for my kids. First time for my second girl. So I hope that everything was fine. Do you have any kids that were going back to school or maybe it was their first time also? Let me know in the comment down below. It's always a weird feeling to think that while they are going to school, I mean, time flies. I forgot that I wanted to put the e.l.f. Pearless Pretty Primer as well. I think that I should have uh, do this one first, but uh, Oh well, <laughs> that's okay. So I wanted to talk to you about a makeup contest that I watched on Netflix. I don't know if you have Netflix and if you like that kind of um, show, but it was the second season. Um, the name is Glow Up. And I already loved the first season, so when I saw that there was season two, I was very excited because I really love to watch makeup contests because I think it really opens your mind to creativity and um, trying new stuff and uh, watching some new techniques. So. I really love watching this kind of program. Season 2 was really, really good. I wonder if it was not even better than the first season. It's, it's based on England and there are some MUA that um, do some contests. I love it. I just... I love it. It's really watching those kind of... Um, program that you see that makeup is really an art. It's really a way to express yourself and um, being amazed by it. I was really, really into it. And the person that won, I'm not gonna say his or her name, the person really deserved it. I was for, for this person since day one, so I'm very glad that this person won. <laughs> Tell me down below if you watched it, if you like it, but I was, yeah, I was so into it. I'm gonna do a little mixture today for foundation. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. It's not the first time that I'm using this foundation on this channel and I really, really enjoy it. It's the foundation that I took for the end of this summer and I really like it because it is really lightweight. I don't feel anything on my skin when I have it and I do have the impression that it really um, gives a beautiful complexion. Uh, I am oily so I have to put some powder uh, on during the day because some oil can um, go through. I think yeah it really gives a beautiful complexion so I really like this one. And I want to mix it today with the L'Oreal Infable 24 Hours Fresh Wear because I don't know, I just want to. So let's do that. <laughs> just feel the, the need to. <laughs> It's very, very lightweight and it's really glowy as well. I have the primer underneath that helps for sure, but it is a um, too dewy foundation. For concealer, I want to use the BH Cosmetic uh, Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. I like this con this uh, concealer, it's very 
full coverage you don't need a lot of. The only thing is, like I said before, I don't like the packaging because it gets really dirty um, easily and quickly. So that's the only... Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Just... <laughs> I didn't even push that hard and I have a lot of a lot on my face, way more than I need and a lot of here. So you know you see what I mean. It's just a weight of a waste of product. Oh god. Especially that uh, you don't need a lot of it. It's really a waste. Look at that, I'm just I could paint my old face with it. Okay, now that I have my face covered <laughs> in uh, concealer, uh, I did my brows and I'm gonna use some powder from ABH in the color Vanilla. Just making sure that there is no creasing. I want to use a little bit of the Fenty Cream Blush. It's in the color Petal Popping. This one, and I'm going in with the fingers. And then blending the edges with my sponge. Okay, new product that I am testing, not for the first time, but only for the second time. I bought the Nabla Skin bronzing in the color Embra. First, I love the packaging. It's really pretty. And here it is. It's really interesting because it is a powder, but there is no kickback uh, whatsoever. But when you touch it, it is a powder. It's not a creamy feeling. Here is the color right here. It's very subtle, very beautiful on the, on the skin really applies uh, beautifully. So I'm just taking my brush, rolling on the powder, and as you can see there is no kickback. So you can see it's very natural. I think you can really uh, build up the color, because I'm really going in, as you can see. Um, but it doesn't appear too much on the skin, at least for my taste. For all the moms out there watching me, tell me if it is the same for you. But it is my fourth child, for those of you who doesn't know. And every time, my baby girl is like three months now, and I am losing my hair like crazy. I just touch it. And I have like a big handful of hair on my on my hand. I'm laughing, but I'm not inside. After gi giving birth, on the three months, three months after the birth, I'm just losing my hair. Um, before it was like right here, and as you can see, it is starting again. I have like a big hole, and now it's the same here. I'm just so happy. I'm just <laughs> so happy. I think it's that kind of stuff that we don't talk about when having a child. You're just like, yeah, the pregnancy and uh, the giving birth part, but when the baby is here, they don't tell you what's going on after that. You know, they are saying how to take care of your baby, but they don't tell you what's happening still in your body. It's just crazy. I read some, somewhere that the body to recover from the pregnancy and the birth took one year. One year. And I believe it. I do. You know, for everything to go back to normal, to go back like not especially like it was before, because I have the impression that once you gave birth, your body um, can be really 
yeah, different and acting different that, than before. But it takes one year to recover. Now from Colourpop I want to use this blush that I show you in my uh, Colourpop makeup haul that you can find uh, right here. I love the packaging, I think it is absolutely stunning. I love Esmeralda, she's not my favorite princess, <laughs> um, but she is, um, she's incredible and I think she's so underrated like I told you before. So it's a beautiful pink like a satin finish and I can definitely see some gold oh keep back so be careful with that my hair I'm not gonna complain otherwise they are all gonna go away <laughs> like a bad curl or something <laughs> it is pigmented so I'll have to blend that out, but I love the color. I am watching on Netflix at the moment as well a series that is called Where the Heart Is, I believe, something like that. And it really reminds me of the little house in the prairie. And I love that TV show when I was a child. I mean, I had a huge crush on Charles Ingalls. I mean, so pretty and such a man in every way that you can think of when you're a child. I just I just really like it. It brings back a lot of memory because it's really um, have some similitude and uh, I love the storyline. It's like a teacher uh, coming from a rich family going into more the countryside She's just discovering the people there, the way to live, and obviously there is a romantic um, story going on. <laughs> so I really love it. I bought this one as well uh, from Nebula, the Skin Glazing in the color Ozone. It's my first time actually trying this uh, brand, and look at that, it's so pretty. For me, it's really glow from within, this one. Just so beautiful. I really don't regret buying um, those two products. They're really good quality and so pretty. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It's really, I do have the impression that it's like wet skin and I love this effect. The color is perfect for me. It's really like a champagne color. It doesn't have any glitter, but it's really shimmery. Yeah, without the glitter, it's really like wet. I mean, don't you love it? I do. <laughs> I'm gonna put some Fursley uh, Rose Gold Mist. It's really the favorite uh, mist that I um, used so far. <laughs> There is a fly in my bedroom and it's annoying. Here is the palette that I want to play with today. It's the Beauty Bay Pastel Palette. I finally got my hand on it because it was sold out. And um, it's, um, it's not a very big palette. I'm just telling you because every time that I'm watching on YouTube or on the website or everything, I, I always have the impression that the item is bigger than what it is in reality. So I'm telling you, it's not that big, my hand in comparison. I don't mind, I'm just telling you, so you don't have a surprise like me every time that you receive a product. But here it is, if you don't know this palette. I really like this trend that we have going on with pastel. Ooh, I can wait to play with it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just like a child with makeup. Okay, I have in mind something really editorial, even if I have to pick up my kids <laughs> later this afternoon. <laughs> but yeah, I want to go, not crazy, but like editorial really going in, 
with um, the eyeshadows, so that's what I'm going to do. I will begin, I, I put the, pay, the base pillows on, and I'm going to be, begin with a uh, first light, this yellow. I just love makeup, guys, just... Just a therapy for me, and it helps me being confident and feeling good by myself. I don't know about you guys, and I love to test it. I, I have never enough makeup. Just so I know it would have been better with a white base for pastel colors but I don't really have one at the moment, so I will go with my usual base and I will just have to build the color up, that's it. So I'm going, as you can see in the inner corner, really into the eyebrows. Really going even into the brows. So it's not crazy pigmented, I'm not surprised because I should have put the white base and it is pastel color, so but it is pretty pigmented for a pastel, I suppose. So I decided to do the look to see where I was going, so now I know, so I'm gonna show you. So like I said, I did the yellow going really into the eyebrows, and then which brush did I use? This one. I'm going in with Cloud Free, the uh, blue color, and I'm just placing the color really under the brows, and going into brows as well, following the yellow just like right here and I'm really like going further with it. Then I'm going in with Daydream, it's the purple one and I am following like the line going right here and the idea it's really going in. Same color. I'm gonna put it in the inner corner. This one has less pigment so it doesn't show as much as the others. Then I went with the purpley pink color which is Euphoria, this one, and I did like not really a liner, but you know a little line like that. A little bit in the out of V and I'm just going in. I put a cream eyeliner in the waterline. I use Makeup Geek for that. If you have a white, it's even better, but I don't. And then going in with the yellow color, I am putting that in the outer V, really packing the color and on the wider line as well. And then going with the blue. Then I'm taking the color Euphoria again, like going under and to blend this color I am going to use Daydream again, it's the purple. In the space that we left blank I put some base booster from Glitter, it's a shadow glue from BH Cosmetic and I'm gonna use this palette from UWD, the Mercury Retrograde for this shimmer, Supermoon and I'm gonna place the color first on the space that we left empty, right here. And then I'm gonna put it like a little bit all over, but less pigmented than um, in this area. Like it's uh, spreading on my face. So I'm really like tapping. Okay, so I just went for it <laughs> and I use uh, this product, the BBIA uh, on the inner corner, a little bit under, above 
and I put rhinestone where I felt it and I put the ma the mascara primer from Marc Jacobs and uh, now I'm gonna do the lips I'm gonna use the um, <laughs> okay the Alamar Cosmetic well uh, in the color Dulce I'm gonna try to put the blush from Fenty on the lips. Do we need a gloss? I think we do. Hold on. Fenty glue. Okay, tell me what you think of this look. I just wanted to change a little bit and I really wanted to explore more of the editorial makeup look. Um, tell me if you like it or not. Now I have to go pick up my kids. <laughs> I don't know if I will be able to clean up before. Oh well. <laughs> Plus it is the new, a new school so uh, I don't know any of the moms yet. <laughs> that will be interesting. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> like the video if you did like it. Share with a friend who love makeup as well. And I see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.